What's up guys? It's Nate. Welcome to another adventure of Fallen Tide TV. Today, we're going bass fishing in my old stomping grounds. It's been a very long time since I've been down there. I'm really excited to get down there. Uh, only got a couple hours to fish because after I fish, I have to go to a birthday get together. I just turned 27 years old yesterday and my mom wanted to do cake and, and, and all of that stuff. So we'll get to go visit the family. It'll be a good day. So uh, enjoy the ride. Gotta get a wake me up. That one's damaged. Hmm. That's good. Can't breathe, but that's the life of 2020, isn't it? I'll show y'all what I'm working with. Show y'all all the essentials. Ozarka water, that's for later. Salted peanuts. These things, I don't know what they are. I like them though. And a bang, that's for now. So, yeah, all of the essentials. You know what I'm talking about. So woke up a little bit later than what I wanted to today. Kind of missed that early morning, uh, you know, the early morning bite, which is pretty significant this time of year, being that it's August, it gets hot really fast, but it's all good. I think I'll still be able to catch a few fish. Anyways, uh, we're here at the water, just launched the boat. Stay tuned, I'm ready to catch some fish. Time to get at it. Try to do it like a smooth boat flip and you pick up salad to go with it, you know? Little bitty guy. Oh, there's grass all over here. Check him out. Pretty little guy. Have a good life. First fish of the day. Pretty 
Wish I had more time to fish today, but you know, I guess I can't be ungrateful. You know, being that the whole reason that I'm leaving early from fishing is because my mom is celebrating the birth of my life. So I really shouldn't shouldn't complain, you know. The rattle trap works, man. It's just the the grass makes it a little bit complicated, you know. It's something that's worth dealing with, though, in my opinion. You know, you just got to kind of throw around the grass and just do your best. I think I think the action of this bait's worth it. You know, it makes a lot of noise, makes a lot of racket. The fish love it. I mean, I think everybody knows fish love rattle traps. It's worth it to me. It's always been a go-to. And for somebody like myself, who's not an avid fisherman, by any stretch it makes it to where it gives you like a level of confidence knowing that this bait is just a simple go-to bait before I get out of here I'm going to try to catch a couple of brim or something maybe some maybe even some uh, sockily who knows I'm going to try it up. Oh, the nostalgia. Push button. Push button reel. Pork. A little bit nostalgic. Just a second. He's playing with it. It's gonna be a perch. Shade line seems to be. There he is. What we got here? Big bluegill. That's what's been toying with us right there. That's what's been toying with us right there. Look at that. Pretty fish. Good bass bait. Big bass bait. Have a good life. Well, I'm gonna wrap up fishing for today. Um, I didn't do too good. I only caught a couple of fish. Uh, the heat was bad. I'm sweating so bad right now. And uh, a couple of guys I talked to, they said that the fishing was on point right at daylight. So we're gonna try to get out here tomorrow. Me and my friend Gary gonna try to get out here tomorrow and catch them bright and early in the morning. I think I kind of know around where we're gonna fish at. I think we'll do a lot better tomorrow. I'm just gonna tie in today's fishing with tomorrow's fishing, make one episode for y'all. Uh, but right now I'm picking up, headed to my mom's house, I'm gonna enjoy some cake. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. So yeah, we decided to come to a uh, different place today. Uh, yesterday I didn't do too good and my friend Gary, he did pretty good here the other day. So we're gonna give this a try. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned.
Second mile. Well, Nate, he wasn't getting all, buddy. Nice little fish. Real pretty, though. Healthy. And you're gonna stay healthy, buddy. <laughs> we ain't shut out. First fish in the boat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Got some more to catch now. Just had to get the monkey off our back. How you usually work that uh that wacky worm? You just pop, pop, let it sit, pop, pop, let it sit. With a, with a wacky worm, you let it sink a lot more than you. Like a lot of times. The slower it, fishing bait. Yeah, a lot of times. Well, unless they want it, like when it when they're aggressive, like kind of like when they're hitting flukes and stuff. Yeah. Like you can hit it a couple times on the top, and they'll swirl on top, and you'll see them. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much the same thing that I got. They said mine don't have a weight on it, so yeah. it sinks a lot faster. A lot faster, yeah. Sometimes they want that, like, slower, you know, kind of like a flute. A yeah. Flute. If you let it, it'll, it'll sink down. Mm hmm. Unless you're fishing a, a floating flute. I brought it. There he is. Gagala. Right up against that tree. He choked that thing as soon as it hit the water. Little guy. Probably catch another one by this tree. <laughs> catching a few of them we might be keeping some fish Gagala. What other people call them things? Rock bass? Rock bass, warm mouth. Warm mouth? Yeah. A lot of people call them warm mouth. Pretty much every term, I'd rather our term. Look at him, he got like a little messed up fin. Oh, okay. He, he didn't want me to hold him no longer. He said, You making fun of me. <laughs> you bullying me. <laughs> you, you catch me, rip me out of my home, yeah. and then you bully me, you bastard. Hear that big hammer, huh? I don't know if y'all can hear that in there, but my froggy senses are tingling. I heard that. Frogs make me happy, Gary. Frog legs make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, look. That is a, a, a pumpkin seed. Yeah, that's for when I do my little fish tank at the house. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Check him out. Boy, you ain't even big enough to eat this bait, bro. Doubled up, bro. Doubled up. We got it. One, I mean, one and a half, though. One and a half, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed, bro. Oh, you, you ain't feeling too good right now. Sound like another one hitting me. If y'all want to know what they biting on, the one fish that is biting, that's what he bit on. Little bitty guy. <laughs> I like when they swim off the right? Yeah. <laughs> Having fun. Having fun. We one and a half up.
Let's go. She already knows way more than me about the editing software. Those what? The glowforge. Uh-uh. It's like this thing that you put wood inside of it and it like cuts out or like uh... Like an engraving or more? Kind of, yeah, or you can cut out stuff too, like, and uh, like it, it does a really good job and you can like customize like anything. It's a pretty fish. I like these little guys, man. That's such a small fish to eat that bait. So we've been uh we've been making a few moves bass ain't really biting too good caught a couple of goggle eyes we're gonna try to see if we go to this next spot maybe we get a few more bites um so yeah bear with us stay tuned Gotta be a goggle eye. Gotta be, bro. Dude, he, I don't know what that was, dude. Chuck, he, he hurt this dang bait. Might have been a daggum shoe pick. Might be a shoe pick, man, or a bowfin, like you, like you YouTube listeners, we're gonna call it. I gotta get used to what I what I say, man. Cause like I, I know that half the time they ain't gonna know what the hell I'm say goujon. They're gonna be like, what? What? Yeah, gas for goo. They're gonna yeah, because special drum said gas for goo. They say who? A gas for who? A gas for who? <laughs> oh, a cow man. Go hook up. <laughs> go. Wait, who you on, man? I'm making cow man sauce pecan. They say who? <laughs> Who's cow man? Why are you cooking him? <laughs> Smooth catch and release. Yo, my head again. Yeah, no. Smooth catch and release right there, boys. Yeah, you got a bobo in the head. He was kind of off the bank a little bit. So the bass have been giving us a hard time. Uh, and just a few little small ones here and there. So we're going to go try to catch some crappie, like y'all like to call them. We like to call them sakale. So you might hear us refer to them as sakale today. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. So, stay tuned. So, whenever we got to the spot where we were about to fish for a sakale, we noticed there was school bass all out here hitting some kind of, I guess it's shad, chinas, or something. And so we decided to chase these school bass, but for whatever reason, we can't figure out, uh, we can't figure them out. We can't figure out what they want to eat. So, yeah, we're just sorting through this through this, through this whole situation, going through our tackle boxes, trying to figure out what they bite on. So, yeah. It's kind of depressing when you're looking at bass everywhere and you can't get them to bite. But, it's all good. Still having a good time, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, newbie Nate. We both newbies. A gar. I got the only gar fish in here. Shit. Hey, boy. Yeah, don't you love it? Catch all the dang critters fish. Right. You need your pliers? I don't have any. You don't have your pliers? I got pliers. Yeah. I think I do. I don't know. Actually, I think I left them on my counter. Yeah, they're on my counter. Yeah, I know. Beats where yours is, though, huh? <laughs> cool. What happened, bro? <laughs> Damn it, Nate. What happened, bro? That's supposed to be connected to the doohickey. <laughs> what the, you gonna do? You gonna reconnect it? The thingamabob. 
You gonna you gonna weld it together? <sighs> well, my string is is frayed in a couple of places, so I think if I tie it back and actually feed it through there again, it probably will pop again. Put some Raymond on it. Some Raymond. Get some Raymond noodles. It'll fix it. There you go. <laughs> you see how they do that? How <laughs> they put it on there and then they, they fill it and fair it and it's fixed. <laughs> I wonder if they add the seasoning. With some super glue. I wonder if they add the seasoning. Oh man. I'm trying to think if I got any string or roof. You win some, you lose oh, some, boys and girls. String, bro. You got some string? <laughs> you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Just won that one. I'm trying to eat. My work. Yay! <laughs> I yanked him out of the water. Look at look at how much he's got to swallow the thing to get the hook. Dude, that's crazy. Little video thing, little video thing, just follow that big old one. <laughs> Alright, can't never go quietly. <laughs> <laughs> they let you know that they're not happy. <laughs> well, we managed to catch a couple of fish, uh, but I, I definitely say it didn't go as planned. We thought we'd have caught a few more bass than what we did, but we still had a good time. But with that being said, we about to wrap up the video for the day. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Uh, I encourage y'all to subscribe and uh, turn on your notifications. I really appreciate that. So that's going to wrap up today's episode. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm Nate, and you're watching Fallen Tide TV. Peace out. Yeah.